It's Ketchup Packets. Hey everybody, I'm Sean. I'm Nate. And this is Ketchup Packets. And today we are going to watch The Expanse, Season 3, Episode 11, entitled Fallen World. Well, that's not a good thing. Yeah, that's scary. That's a um, scary name for an episode. Yeah, and um, we yeah we we sort of saw the sun detonate yeah, at the end of it last time. Was like at least turned blue. Yeah, like, yeah. And things that would that would make the world fall. Maybe, yeah, you know. Yeah, oh yeah. no, that can't happen. Can't. There's three more seasons of this show. This the stellar balance of everything is very fragile, and then once you start messing with like the sun's energy output, everything gets messed up real quick. Right. Well, but I don't know that that's definitely something that did happen. No, you know? I think no. that that might be a. I don't think it did because it was kind of during Holden's like this whole vision. Yeah. Hallucination. Mm -hmm. And it was yeah, so it seemed like it was a potential a potentiality. Yes. That could happen. But judging by the title, I think we are supposed to immediately think that like the earth gets affected by this yeah. thing. Um, but I have a feeling that we're going to get a glimpse into the fallen world that helped create the bubble. Oh, maybe that's what, oh, cool info about, okay. I would love Ooh, that. Ooh, that that's, is a very, see, now you've gotten my hopes up about that being what the yeah. title means, and I'll be disappointed if it's something else, oh. but, I mean, I'm sure I won't be disappointed. Yeah, the show yeah, does yeah. not fail to deliver, but. Well, don't blame me. I do yeah. want to find out what the deal is with whoever made this technology that mm -hmm. we're now interacting with. The other big thing is I want to see what happened on all the ships that came to a dead stop. Oh my because god. Because that... I've been thinking about that yeah. more since we talked about it, and I think that might be a big, big problem. Yeah, it seems like it'd just be a big mess. Mm -hmm. Big giant so, mess. Yeah, we gotta see what's going on there, but... Uh, any, and, yeah, I guess that's pretty much everything we're covering at this moment, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Everyone's I mean, in there. Yep. Avasarala has not been around for this whole half of the season. We saw her yeah. as the Secretary General on Earth at the beginning, and then... For like a second, yeah. She's not at the ring, so she's not part of this. We've seen very little about the Earth or Mars government at all. It seems like it's been mostly just what's going on at the ring, gotta deal with the ring, mm -hmm. who's at the ring, what's inside the ring. But kudos to a TV show for being willing to do that, for, you know, this character's not part of this story, mm -hmm. so we're not putting them in there, as opposed to, like finding reasons to have scenes on Earth of Avasarala, talking mm -hmm. with somebody about their notions about the ring and stuff. You know, they could be giving the audience information, certainly, with scenes like that. But yeah. it would still be taking time away from the stuff that we want to see. So yeah, I appreciate like, the show being willing to do that. Not kowtowing to the, but I want to see what's going on with Avasarala crowd. Mm -hmm. It's like, if it's not important, it doesn't matter. And it's, exactly. kinda, it's also telling, you know, that... To, it must have kept Miller at least on the phone for a while through multiple seasons of filming before, you know, they called him back and we're just like, okay, we're ready for you now. Well, you know? yeah, I wonder what the timeline of TV seasons versus book releases is. Like, I wonder if they knew when they started making this show that Miller was a character who'd be around for this part of the story as well. Like, if they had book mm -hmm. three already when season one was in development or not. Right. And I know people leave in the comments, you guys could Google this stuff that you wonder. We know that. We just, yeah. that we, we wonder. We don't yeah. research as a rule. Sometimes it's more fun to ask yourself the question than it is to immediately answer it for exactly. yourself. And it's fine for you guys to leave the answers in the comments if you want to. Yeah. As long as it's yeah. not spoilers for the show, that's cool. We yes. love that engagement. So Absolutely. bring that on. I read that stuff. I yes. think it's really interesting. So do I. I'd rather hear it from you than Google. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So yeah, uh, I think without further ado, we're gonna jump on into The Expanse. We got a Patreon link down there, some full-length reactions, polls, that kind of fun stuff if you want to check that out. But uh, otherwise, let's hit it. Let's do it. That's quite a shot to open on. It's the, the nucleus? Yeah. Huh. Frozen bullets. Okay. Shang-Chi in the floor okay. somewhere. Kill the LT. Ah, oh, shit. His pulse is dropping. We need to get him back to the ship. I'm good with that. So what I said before about Avasarala, apparently Draper is not in this storyline in the books. Oh, and really? put her in here. It's just a different team of Martian commandos. I like this better. Nobody move! Yeah. What the hell? Trip seen an RPG up the shaft. Why? Just do it and do not hit anything that's in order. Send an RPG up the shaft? Fire in the hole. 
limits changed. Watch your thrust to stay under 28 meters per second. Jesus. Okay, so it got lowered, and that's why everybody stopped. Let's just get the fuck out of here. So they may not have stopped. They oh. may have slowed down. So if she was going that way, then she could have gotten slammed into her chair. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. So that would explain why everyone wasn't immediately vaporized from doing that. The speed limit slowed down. Right, so yeah. they decelerated, they but they didn't completely stop. I mean, those can be pretty much the same thing yeah. if the speeds are different enough, you yeah. know? Why did that happen? Whoa! Is that what sparks look like? Can zero oh, G? yeah, it must be gravity fire, you know, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. That's cool looking, though. Oh, yeah, it's, it's yeah. just flames without gravity pulling on them. That's yeah, sweet. nuts. I thought that we were seeing some strange new phenomenon. Yeah, nope. Just fire. <laughs> so scary. Yeah, don't touch it. Don't. What do you do? Throw a tool in it? <laughs> do you need that? Hope you don't need. Yeah. <laughs> okay, alright. Seems okay. Move the ship very slowly. So, isn't it gonna take forever to get anywhere if yeah, the speed limit is super low now? That'd be really frustrating. We can be there in 10 minutes, but it's gonna take us a week to get there now. And is, isn't it gonna fuck with the gravity on board the ships on, if they can't accelerate? Oh yeah, that's a good Come point. On, Come on, clear! Holden's gonna die! Right, <laughs> oh yeah? It's like that, huh? Well, we're coming up on the end of the season, so yeah. his life has to be put in peril again. The Shusen is in pretty bad shape. A third of the crew dead, another third injured. Whatever that field around them is, they can't maneuver in it. And they're being Ooh. pulled into orbit around that station. Same deal for any ship that was moving faster than 100 kilometers per hour. That's nearly every ship in this space. So everything's yeah. being sucked in to How the nucleus. The limit changed? A it third of the Shusen crew is that dead. Reacted and killed the lieutenant off. Oh no. Did she get trapped oh, under a machine? Yeah. Oh, perfect opportunity for Ashford to kill her and say she died in the craziness. Oh, she might not, he might not have to. Is she pierced? And she's just crushed. Okay, here goes. Oh man. Locking things are bent up and jet. Jump the engine. It's convenient that they both have boxes. Yeah. Well, you got one thing right. You and I definitely have a problem to work out. Whoa. This is quite a situation. Yeah. You know, after watching so many shows, you expect them to like be laying on the floor and be like, "Are you okay?" It's like. Yeah, I think so. And then they stand up and they're both. Mm -hmm. Oh, this seems like bad. Is that lady dead? I would say oh! so. I don't know. Cloverfield taught me that kind of wound is very survivable. <laughs> Did she do that? Or did that happen in the crash? Uh, I don't know. I would think that that's a crash injury. Yeah. Anna's not harmed. That's good. She seems like she's not great. She seems disoriented, mm -hmm. as I can tell by her being shot upside down. How are they ever going to get these ships in working order again? Yeah. Oh no.
Honestly, we're probably getting a very toned down version of what this scene would really look like. Yep. Still pretty intense, though. It's still yeah. very intense. Well, I'm not trying to downplay yeah. it, but I'm saying this would probably be even more oh, yeah, horrific. Yeah, it would be just like... Yeah, they would be completely splattered everywhere. They might be clumped together yeah. in some yeah. instances. <laughs> like people smashed together. Yeah. yeah. Is this your first time in Zero-G? Yeah. Without gravity, wounds can't drain. Blood pools and clots, tissue swells, any internal bleeding is a death sentence. Interesting. Um, uh, civilian. Pastor. You might want to put in a good word with your boss. This is only going to get worse. Oh, man. Looks like she has a little bit of internal... Like injury. Yeah, who? I mean, this. If she was strapped in, yeah. she may have. But she feels okay, and she's walking around. Mm -hmm. Don't help, Clarissa. Melba. It's in. I think he broke my arm. Well, then you're dead. Was that guy saying that anyone wounded is gonna die? Yeah, just any sort of like internal injuries and okay. stuff like. Over there. All the ships in this space suddenly decelerated at the same moment, and now we're all being pulled towards the sphere at the center. All the ships. Yeah. It's a crane. She's like, hey, great! I'll get to the Rosinante. Mm-hmm. But uh, we'll get through it together. Wish I could just yell through the screen. Don't waste your time on her. Break. <laughs> right now we're about half a million kilometers from where we came in. At the new speed limit, it would take about seven months to get back to the ring. The bigger ships have skiffs that can still move, but not enough to evacuate everyone. And there's no way we'd be able to provision them for a seven month trip. We'll figure it out. Everyone's stuck in here. <laughs> yeah, oh my God. Chef's rattled. Yeah, can you go ahead? I have an emergency on on deck 19, quarter five. A severe penetrating injury. Please come quickly. We'll be there soon again. Yeah. In a way, it's your fault. Yeah. What? Clear somehow. No. She's trying to kill James Alden. I'm right here. Tilly? Hey. Is she Tilly? crying with no gravity yeah. in, so there's yeah. eyes, the cool. tears coating okay. around her eyes? Oh. You're really good at this. Tilly. Hey. Tilly. No. Sorry. This lady was so cheerful and peppy all the time. Yeah, that's why she couldn't possibly live. Can't have a character like that on this show for long, man. You know that. Yeah, that's sad. Individuals can be divided and conquered, but symbols... Symbols endure. We are who we are. That's what makes us better. That's the way the inners need to see us. Yeah, well, they will in time. But right now, they need to see us as one. Hmm. Now, I have no desire to look like anyone other than myself. But I will sacrifice my pride. To make something better for the future. I hope that one day, that's what makes us built up. Huh. Me was sick, and I to death. Till he go, till he go. Me was sick. All right, some bonding here. Yeah. Till he go. 
seems to be something about thinking you're gonna die. It makes you kind of set aside your differences. The moment they get out of the situation, they're gonna be back at each other's throats. I don't, my words. I don't know if I agree with that. I don't know that they've fully been at each other's throats. She's yeah. suspicious of him and he's not fully trustworthy, but yeah. I don't, I mean... I guess we'll see. Yeah, I think that this may have yeah. fundamentally created a bond between them that is going to persist, assuming they both mm -hmm. survive. Maybe yep. he'll sacrifice himself to save her. Oh, interesting. Man. <sighs> Why you gotta be like this? If she had better motivations, I wouldn't be so frustrated with her even, like, being here at all. But she's just like... Where's the woman? I don't know. Her motivations are so shallow. Well she's got to she's she's so prove herself to her father. I know, that's shallow. The amount of damage that she's causing, the amount of people that she's killed already, it's like, is that worth it to you? Here, track her yourself. Don't worry, I'll take care of her. This lady's annoyed. Mm -hmm. We have a lot to deal with. Yeah. Stolen weapons! What are you gonna do, Anna? You cannot escape what you've done. There is nowhere for you to go. The only thing that you can do is beg for mercy. Nella! Nella! Does she know the speed limit? Oh, I don't know. But she's not gonna be going fast enough to meet it anyway. She's gonna drift over there? Mm -hmm. We haven't seen Alex and Amos. Yeah. Well, what about our uh, reporters that were on the way from oh, one yeah. ship to the other? Oof. That's a good question. Oh no. They're not dead. That's not what you do. <laughs> you don't think they're getting an off-screen velocity death? That, that we don't address yeah, till <laughs> way into the episode. Yeah. Is it food? What is that? Oh, it's is that lasagna? Alex. Alex. Is that Naomi? Yeah. It's me. Oh, oh my head hurts. Alex, mm. where's Holden? Mm. And Amos? Holden. Holden, he left a while ago with... Holden. He's got something in his arm. Ooh. Uh, it's a fork. Oh, no. Amos isn't dead. Amos! You have to be alright. Please just say something. Here we go. You changed your hair. <laughs> a concussion in zero G is not a good situation. Yeah, probably not. No. These moments, huh? Couldn't even bear for leave behind a old day and night. Or to pretend they're not where they truly were. They were never gonna make it to another habitable no planet. No way. What are you doing? Uh, our situation here. Gonna be multiplied a hundredfold through the ship. Can that for Amina, what are you doing? She's gonna kill herself to save him. Felt the ingenuity at its finest. Tell me what you're doing. She's gonna she drive the thing captain. to crush her and I set him up. He's got internal but bleeding. There's still hope. She's probably so worse. She, yeah, I mean. I was wrong. I'll be optimist. I'm not not yet dead. Come on. Oh! Oh! Okay. 
you think she had a I immediately regret that decision moment? Oh, I bet. <laughs> you hurt? Uh, it's tree deposit. It's inconvenient. Oh, I can't help it. We lose about a hundred. A hundred more wounded. Medical supply are low. I just told him he's so not hurt. Much without gravity to he said it's treatable. No oh. us to make thrust now. How does he know that? Same as every ship in this place. Mm -hmm. Then we spin the drum. Oh, they're gonna spin the drum mm -hmm. to make gravity. They never spin up the drum before. It could tear the ship apart. Which would leave us hardly worse off than we are now. If it works, it will save many lives. Oh, sure, yeah. yeah. So you can get some gravity going. Mm hmm. He said it would take like seven months to get back to the edge of the. Yeah. Of the bubble. Yeah, so there's no. Just like, okay, let's just hop out of here for a second and get some help and then we'll hop back. No. Yeah. I don't think anyone is really supplied to be in here that long. Yep. Oh, someone's at the door. <laughs> Hole's not even on this ship. <laughs> yeah, right. That's the other thing. In the wrong place. It's just, yeah. I mean, this is also something so, like, all she's done is kill innocent <laughs> people, basically, and, like, you know, people who weren't fighting back, and now she's, like, Assaulting the ship in a situation where everyone's already at high risk. You know, there's nothing brave or like powerful. No, about she's the worst. She's like the, a horrible person. Yeah, unsuspecting people are gonna hit him while they're while they're back. Gonna kill time. Naomi. This is terrible. With a giant super suit on, you're just gonna like attack some random person on their own ship. She's worse than her dad. Her dad should be proud. Do you think she knows who she's fighting right now? Do you think she's like, oh, this is Naomi Nagata? Oh, I don't know. I don't think she cares. Yeah. You suck. Who is that? Is that oh Anna? Oh my god, yeah, Anna. Whoa! What? She followed her. I guess. That's weird. Yeah. Surprise. <laughs> that was a little wacky. <laughs> How did she even get... Weird, yeah. Spin the drum! So just to clarify, they called him Captain because he's second in command and the Captain is She's out of commission. Yeah, yeah. They don't have to like fasten things down to start this process. Well, I guess everything's just being pulled to the floor here. One third G. One third G, and that's what they're used to. Oh, okay. He's just gonna wide beam everybody. We are all victims of the same catastrophe. But the, the behemoth is unique. This ship, my ship, can create spin gravity. So I am able to offer it to all of you. Bring this will get the belt a lot of credit. Yep. You will be welcome. The belt has embraced all of you. Whoa. Ashford, all right. Thanks. Cementing his place in yep. history right there. For interrogation. But they're already loading up the other dropships with the wounded and transferring them to the behemoth. Don't just skinny saving us. This place keeps getting more and more fucked up. They've got the right idea. Yeah, these two yeah. are the only way gonna get out of it. This is what Bobby was like until her trial, don't forget. Yeah, I know. It's really pathetic to watch. <laughs> Why is it called Fallen World? Just because of like yeah. all the ships? I guess the inside of the bubble is now a fallen world. Oh Every everyone God. in there. Yeah. Is it a world? It's a stretch. <laughs> Maybe he's about to explain it. Yes. 
smell something. Fish. Smith what? Specifics, Holden. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, the end of everything. <laughs> well, I think you could be a little bit more specific, so I can get an idea of what we're talking about here. Yeah. Hmm. We're talking about the heat death of the universe. So we talking about like just the Earth, because I don't really care about that. Because I'm Martian. <laughs> yeah. What is everything to you? Well, I mean, that's obviously. If they're, hopefully, they're going to give us that next yeah. time. I guess. Mm-hmm. Hopefully that was just the beginning of his little mm -hmm. spiel. Because he saw a lot of stuff. Yeah. Two episodes to go in this season. Whoa. So Yeah. Next one, we'll probably get more of that and more of the answers on that. And then the last one, I guess we wrap all this stuff up. But yeah. It's, uh, that was, that was a lot. Yeah. Kind of process. That was interesting. It was all aftermath of what yeah. happened in the last episode. And... Yeah. We didn't even, like, initially realize right away what a big deal that was. Like, it yeah. took us a second in our discussion to be yeah. like, and by the oh. way, all those ships yeah. came to a dead stop while yeah. traveling. But, yeah, that was some serious damage. It was honestly less damage than I had expected, but still seems... I mean, just in terms of, like, the condition in my brain of what those people's bodies would have been. Like, anything mm -hmm. that wasn't strapped down would have been like turned to vapor right well we head. saw that belter you know like that's mm -hmm. the situation that i had in my mind is the image of watching that belter crash into the room yes and yes exactly like, okay so a ship going at speed that hits this then but i guess there are some differences and that one seems to have come to a full stop and yeah. he was in a tiny thing like a slingshot or going as fast as it was possible for him to go yeah. whereas i think these other ships were not moving at quite the same velocity and also didn't slow to as low of a speed afterwards. Yeah, yeah, they seem to have... They were still going pretty fast. It seems like everything's still going pretty, pretty fast. Well, well sh they showed us a number, and I don't think it was very high. It was like 28 kilometers a second or something like that, which like, that's fast. Yeah, that's faster than zero. Yeah, which maybe is that's not it. I don't know. Maybe that speed I just said is like really is way off or something like that. Yeah. Is, I don't know. We're going to seem foolish in the comments, mm -hmm. I'm who sure. Knows, like, it was up there for the like map. a second. Yeah, yeah. Like, who knows? We could, we could look it up on Google. We could. We could just Google stuff. But we you just what? sit here and I can't use my phone. My phone is filming. But, uh, <laughs> um, yeah. So, yeah. Geez, uh, I that just, was crazy. Carissa? Clarissa. Clarissa. She explains it all. She's a... I do not like that character. I know I've already said this, but mm -hmm. like, I, like I said, it's just like... There's nothing redeeming. There's no redeeming quality about her. Her motivations are so shallow and her actions are so abhorrent and just like, like it's one thing to fight somebody who's fighting you, mm -hmm. you know, trying to like two warriors fighting for opposite goals kind of yeah. thing. But she's just like killing people, like killing friend, unsuspecting killing, people. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. right. And it's, you're right about her motivation. Not, it's not even like, oh, we saw her really wronged or neglected or overlooked in some profound way and she's yeah. trying to make that right. She's it's trying like clearly to impress daddy. Her dad liked her sister more than her, but the things we were shown about that didn't show it in to be some profoundly unjust way that she needs to make yeah. it right. It's like life is unfair and your parents liked your sister more. That's mm -hmm. a bummer. Mm -hmm. you know, maybe Don't was, kill anyone. <laughs> maybe it was covered more in the books or yeah, something. Yeah, maybe her motivations sure like, with some more context are more clear, but to we me might it's learn more like that, that she is overreacting <laughs> to whatever way that she feels like she was not. You know, unless she has something major to gain from this, the amount of risks that she's taking and the amount of lives that she's taking. And the first life that she took, she was very upset. Do you she, remember that? She liked that guy. Yeah, yeah. she liked so that guy. So it seemed like she had some sort of a very profound mission to be working mm -hmm. for, you know? The second life that she prepared to take, I don't know if it, if she actually did or not. It seemed like the collision kind of, or the, the great stop, I'll call it, kind of mm -hmm. happened at the same time. But, like, she seemed to have no qualms about it at all. And then we just saw her try to take another life pretty much with complete malice and yeah, no, someone like, she didn't know yeah, yeah i mean she might have known who it was you yeah. know and that would but yeah she's 
not very redeemable no, so far. It's just kind of like a, I like a I like a character with like a little bit more depth. If they're gonna do things like that, I would like to see like oh I understand why you want to do this so badly. But yeah. I'm sorry, but Daddy's approval is not enough for me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She's That's bad. It. She's bad. Bad That's news. Fair criticism. I thought it was a little weird how Anna chased her too, and like also if the speed limit's so low, and they're just flying around in suits, like did Clarissa not see her? Chasing yeah. her to the ship, or well, like? I think once you, when you're flying in space, you're sort of faced in a specific direction. It's true, and yeah. If and turning around, behind yeah, you, yeah. you can't hear it. Right. You can't. So there's. She could have been like literally ten feet behind her, and like she never would have really known. Yeah, I suppose that's true. It was that was just very. It was jarring. The staging of the scene or something about it. Well, yeah, it was yeah. just like it was weird. And with those suits on, you can't always identify someone right away too. So it was like, well, who am I? What? Yeah. And it wasn't like a, oh, ta-da! It was just more of a question mark. It leaves a lot of open questions, too, about, like, how did... So I think Clarissa got into the ship by sort of doing some kind of, like, a breach mm -hmm. thing. Where she she had, like, a device that she yeah. put on the door, and I assume that either, like, overrode the door controls or was able to blow a hole. Because the sound that Naomi heard, that wasn't just something hitting the hall. That was a. I think it, it was, was yeah a, the hull being punctured yeah. yeah, but then it was also covered up seemingly like when because Naomi was in that room without yeah, yeah. a suit right so the puncture must have been covered up by something in which case how did Anna get inside the ship this just something that I'm only maybe that'll be clarified later maybe it won't it doesn't really matter yeah, it's whatever not, you know they had but those that those... was that, that was some plot armor. If I've ever seen it, yeah, <laughs> you know? yeah, could have been. Yeah, it's. I mean, there was. They had like those quick force field airlock things they set up mm -hmm. in the Martian ship that one yeah. time, right? So like, it could be one of those they used to seal it off. But yeah, how would Anna get inside? Unless she was like right behind her, like you said. But then she'd notice her coming in, right? Yeah, and that's something. Seems yeah. like she would have to at least have rotated hmm. a little bit to like hmm. get inside the ship or something. But yeah. again, is you know, hey. If you guys have the answer and it's not going to be revealed later on or it's not like an important plot piece, please yeah. explain it because I'm, I'm curious if, about if we how that happened. On that, yeah. It's kind of unlike the writers of this show seemingly to just kind of leave something like that like on. Yeah. Like, they wouldn't just overlook about, it. Yeah. Those writers would ask this question when yeah. they were breaking the scene mm -hmm. down and they'd figure that out. Right. Um, do you think Drummer's going to die? Do you think Ashford mm -hmm. will save her? I think maybe he will save her life. I think, yeah, that's how it's looking. I was thinking if Drummer doesn't die, to save Ashford, then she's gonna live. You know, if, if she didn't die in that kind of in that moment, moment of saving him, yeah, like yeah. she's not gonna expire next episode yeah. or something like that. Exactly, yeah, think, right? Yeah. And I think that you're probably right that they are going to end up sort of working together in more of like a teamwork capacity now. Because mm -hmm. honestly, her being needing alone time to get away from him and all the crap she's been dealing with kind of is what put them in that situation in the first place yeah not technically but you know just the idea of like well they could have probably had help right away there would have been right. people looking for her who knew where she was and she was like we got to go check on the captain mm -hmm. but i think that her being annoyed with him put them in the precarious situation that they were in and that only through sort of they tried everything they could and were working together to solve the problem and then she was like all right there's only one way out of this and like maybe that'll soften her up and i think that it also increased Ashford's efforts like she was willing to die to mm -hmm. get one of us out of here and that's like that is true if that's not like belter brotherhood sisterhood whatever like i don't know what is yeah so that's the very yeah. essence of being a belter is mm -hmm. you know the it's like that whole that guy who like the big bouncer dude that they had keeping the guys, the people off the ship in that one episode, and then he told them that like only a certain people could go, yeah. and they had to decide. You know, he was giving the Belter speech about what it means to make sacrifices for the greater cause. But and, and you know, sort of on that point as well, I think Ashford opening up the Behemoth's drum to the wounded of every ship is going to do a lot for the Belts standing in system politics yep. going forward. I think that, like I said, he when it happened, that he cemented his place in history. Yep. I think he is going to be now seen as an instrumental figure that got the belt on equal footing with the inner planets. I agree. It seems like kind of an end of series story beat, too, right? Which yeah, is to like sort a, of show yeah. us this. The politics have evolved. Yeah. yeah. 
Yep, and like these actions and the results of this thing helps because I think, like me included, a lot of people watching the show are like, when are the Belters going to get like a little bit of respect? Mm -hmm. And I think that this action could be, like you said, kind of the driving force for that. So that would be cool. Right, but that is also assuming that anyone is able to make it out of this bubble, <laughs> which that's a good point. Seem like it's going to be easy at the moment. It's going to well, take a long time. We know that. Who's so. equipped though? Well, of all of the ships. Who is equipped to possibly help everyone get out, supply them, repair their ships, and help everyone get out of the situation, even if the speed limit doesn't increase? I don't. I don't know. I would say the Behemoth, the Behemoth probably. probably has yeah, they probably have enough stuff on board. Everything that they could need, but maybe not enough for everyone on the Behemoth and everyone in all the surrounding ships to get back home. But that's when the sort of okay, they helped us get out of the bubble. Now we have to go make sure that they can get back to where they're going. And that Maybe back. they could do what I had been talking about earlier on with the behemoth when they were just in remote space in the solar system. Everybody who's in the bubble, go to the behemoth and we live here now. Yeah, yeah there we go. <laughs> you don't have to go back anywhere, guys. Yeah, rules. Okay, here chill. is the absolute upper velocity in our new yeah. world. And you know, yeah. there's some <laughs> new rules, but otherwise, let's, yeah. we're, let's be here. What's the we problem? We can stay here for generations. Exactly. It's going to be fine. Yeah. That's a good point. Yeah, yeah. I don't think they will really do No, no, no. And I have a feeling that those two Martians are going to end up throwing a wrench in all of that. It'll be, be like, we still can't trust the Bobby and Holden things. versus those two. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's just, well, just the idea of like, you know, they're not going to be like, oh, I see. So these belters are just willing to help everybody out of the kindness of their heart. That doesn't sound it's like a, a belter it's a trap. to me. Yeah. We got to get to the bottom of this. And then they're no. going to be saboteurs and be all gross. Yeah. I already just don't like those two either. Yeah. No, that, like, that'd be terrible. Mm -hmm. I don't want that. And it is interesting to me, too, that like Holden seemed to have flipped a switch and was giving a bunch of are given a bunch of information, right? Mm -hmm. Like, sort of, psychically. Straight to the dome. And I think he had to spend this whole episode processing it. Like, right. It take, took so long to do the upload. You know? But he was also dying. Mm -hmm. So that's interesting. If unlocking the mechanism, or if completing the circuit, so to speak, also kills the host, that, you know, unless there's some sort of intervention, they had to get his heart jump-started again. Right, yeah, maybe he was supposed to have the physiology of whatever species created this, and a that's human a point. gets killed by it. Yeah, yeah, that's that could be it, too. That just, They just didn't foresee that anything besides one of them would be activating this thing. Yeah. But it also would seem like a, a an important safety mechanism to be like, if you want to turn this on, somebody's got to die about it. Yeah, can't, that can't could be it, too. Right, yeah, yeah, you know it could I mean? be, uh, like... Showing the the true gravity of it, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Maybe just something. To, I just thought that was weird. It seemed like something where it's like whatever this mechanism was supposed to do. It seemed like keeping the person alive that activated it was kind of an important piece of it because mm -hmm. it again gave you a bunch of info. Too. Yeah, yeah. So, like, so that wouldn't make sense if it also has to yeah, kill you. Hard, yeah, it's hard to if you're inside a bubble in the middle of space where you can't go very fast and your heart's slowing down to stop. You're not going to be able to really share that information with anybody, are you? Right, well, but I don't... They weren't maybe intending for the defenses to have to be activated at the same time as someone is accessing the thing, you know? Like That's a good point. This is a whole confluence of circumstances. But were the defenses... Do you think that the Belter trying to go through at a fast speed activated one level of the defenses? So, like... If they uh, hadn't gone in as fast at the beginning, the initial speed limit would have been higher? Yeah. Maybe, because Who's, what, who can say? All the, the blue, if I remember correctly, all the blue shimmeriness of the ring started when the belter tried to just go through what appeared to yes. be an empty ring. Yes, that showed up when, and then, so I'm thinking back to what Miller was first saying when he showed up about why he was there. Mm -hmm. And I can remember the text of this a little bit better too because a couple people have repeated it in the comments as well, so I think it's, you know, like an important piece of mm -hmm. info about it. It said, it sends out a signal 144 times a second, and when it doesn't get an answer, it builds the investigator to find out why. So Miller went out there to tell Holden to go in slowly after the ring was sending out a signal and not getting an answer. Mm -hmm. So I'm not, I mean, maybe this isn't even tied directly into what your question was, but I'm thinking that like the speed limit that Miller had to communicate was part of that initial investigator thing. So mm. I don't know if that got set by the Belter going in, you know? Like, I mm. think that the Belter just 
didn't follow it. It was a way to show the audience that that speed limit is there mm -hmm. without Miller just saying, hey, there's a speed limit. You know, that's not interesting. Yeah. yeah, 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 of course. I mean, yeah, it was much more interesting. I loved that <laughs> yeah. part because it was so cool how they did that. But I, I'm just wondering because, like, the ring appeared to be just a ring before the Belcher tried to go through it. And then it turned blue. So, and then every but time... I think maybe if you'd pass through, even at the proper speed limit, the blue would have showed up with something Interesting. Yeah. yeah, that's that's sort of the question. Right. We may never actually know the answer to that, but... Right. Uh, yeah, I'm sort of under the impression that, like, the speed limit, the more... The more... Um, disruption happens inside, the slower the speed limit gets. Yeah, it's clearly activating mm -hmm. defenses, and it can adjust them as things change. So, mm -hmm. Yeah. Lots to think about. Yeah. We're almost at the end. Lots to yeah. go forward and see. I think they'll give us a lot of answers in the next couple episodes. I'm hoping so. If they thought the series was going to be over yeah. <laughs> after those episodes, that they weren't just like, nah. Let's just leave some questions out there. They'll answer them for themselves. <laughs> <laughs> well, they could like do Lost. No. <laughs> hey, no, no. <laughs> okay. Sorry. No, no, no. Sorry. No, no. sorry We're not going to go there. Well, Got thanks. It. Thanks for joining us, everybody. It's always fun to watch with you guys and see all your responses. So keep them coming. It's good stuff. Mm -hmm. Until next week and the penultimate episode. I'm Sean. I'm Nate. And this has been Ketchup Packets. <laughs>